What is going on, everybody? My name is the Conservative Corn Collector O Triple C. And right here, I got a package from Amazon. What could it be? It's obviously something I ordered, and thus there was a shipping label on this. But I did decide to rip the shipping label off because I don't want to dox myself. And uh, let's open the sucker live on camera and see what I got. The first thing I got from Amazon was this thing. Then I got some Nazi money. And, oh shoot, it's right here. I got some Nazi money. And I took a closer look at it. There's only a few Hitlerian coins in there. It's mostly just Fennigs from the early 1900s and I've already done videos on them. But what's in here, is the third thing I ordered. Open her up. I think I ordered like a variety of I think it's 50 world coins. Over 50 different world coins. It's a half a pound grab bag of different world coins. And I'm, also, I'm a kind of a sucker for world currency, just like I am for junk silver. But I have yet have an idea what's in here. Sound like coins. And I love the sack this is in. I'm going to I'm going to open her. Actually, I could probably move my... No, um, I could move my camera. Hold on. I'm moving my camera to where you can see... All of these world coins here. What exactly is in here? I have no idea. But, uh, I'll have to, uh, sort through them and show you. Scoping through some of the most of these coins here. Oh, hold on. I found some coins that I pretty much see all the time. Canadians. Hold on, I can move my thing a little bit closer here and I can kind of show you. Move a little closer. Now, it depends on where you are in the United States. This may be cool. This may be something to see all the time. I live about an hour from the Canadian border. So stuff like this Canadian nickel, which just dropped on my keyboard. Hold on. Canadian, it's a Canadian 20, 2007 nickel here. And they have a 2019 here that looks, they look pretty much identical. And they have Queen Elizabeth's face on them. I could find five of these at my local coin star in like two days. Because I'm so close to the border. So these ones aren't really worth that much more than five cents. And I'm, I don't, I paid like 20 bucks for this whole grab bag, so there's not going to be anything too spectacular in here. But I'm definitely going to get some countries I don't have yet. Alright. Let's do a little more sorting. And I can, I'll sort it out, show you some of the coins I got, and... Be right back. Be one second. I just gotta find ones that I don't don't have yet. Oh, this is Canadian penny from seventy four. I see those all the time. What is in here that I don't see all the time? I've been digging for a few minutes, and. I found some coins that kind of look familiar because I've been collected for a long time and maybe I have some more of these coins, but here is the first one I'm going to show you, an Australian 10 new pence. It's got a lion with a crown on it and it says new pence and it's 10 new pence. And the obverse is the queen, obviously. And I think it's the obverse and the reverse. 
And from what I've seen, they haven't made the 10 new pens in quite a few years. And it's called the new pens because the other coin that was, I'd assume the old pens, had the laureate portrait of the queen on there. And this one uh, has the, the newer portrait of the queen on there. I don't really go for much more than just a few bucks, but it's a pretty cool coin. The next coin I have for you is the Australian 20 cent piece. And a lot of these Australian coins, I won't show you the of the uh, the heads or the obverse of them, because it's just gonna be a bust of the queen. The reverse is where it's at. You can see, it's a seal. It looks like a seal on twenty out of water water ripples. That's not a seal. That's a platypus. And these twenty cent coins from nineteen eighty one. Actually, they range from between two to four dollars, and depends on what the condition is. And it could be upwards of four fifty if it's a proof. Which, if Australian proofs are anything like American proofs, they're stamped twice, you know, over the shined, and it would be obvious to tell. But I'd have to see a picture of an Australian proof coin to actually determine that. I don't have a picture, and I don't feel like looking it up right now. But I could just assume it's a regular strike. And it's between two to four dollars. Keep in mind, I'm learning as I go here, and I was doing a little, did a little more digging. Apparently, these no pence coins are not Australian; they're from the United Kingdom. And Queen Elizabeth being on the both on the back of both of those coins is kind of confusing. But I am kind of a pro at American coins. Not so much of a pro on the world coins. All these countries, and I was born in America, so I kind of know more about these coins. And the f I, this five new pence second portrait replaced the Laurent portrait, and that's worth no more than a few bucks. This is Australia. I think this is ten coin as Australian. It's ten coin here. A lot of these coins. From what I've seen, a lot of these coins that I've looked up so far are in circulation still. Just not around here. I think this is an Australian 5, or could be United Kingdom 5, but... Now that I have... I think I've taken care of all the coins with the late queen's face on them. So now it'll be a little easier to, to determine what coins go to which country. So I gotta do some more sorting. I found three of the same looking coins, and they have, I think it's Chinese, it's Chinese on the back of them, and on the front of them. These are, I think they're called Wu Zhao coins. See, there's a five on there, you can barely see it. Dead camera focus like it's supposed to. You can, you can, you can kind of see it. But these five Wu Zhao coins are worth the equivalent of half a yen. And one yen is only worth a couple of cents. So these coins aren't really worth more than a couple of cents. And then, But they're still pretty cool coins to have. Now these are some more exotic coins that I found. On the front of them they're very shiny. Because these are practically new. This one, they're all they all say the same thing. This one's 2016, so it was minted in 2016. So they're practically brand new coins. If I can uh, keep it right side up, I can actually show you what it says. Twenty twenty Lippa. And the back of them are a pretty neat design. I gotta remember to flip the coin upside down if I want to show you. But these 20 Lippa coins. So avoid wearing out my shoulder blade. 
trying to show you this. There it is. You saw it for a brief second. These 20 leper coins are from Croatia. And there were many, many minted. And I did the conversions. One converter had me translate the lipa to the euro. And I translated the euro to the dollar. And they were worth about 13 cents. I have quite a few of these coins. They are... One peso coins from Mexico. I actually recognized these right off the bat when I found them. Because many years ago, my dad went to Mexico and brought home a couple of peso coins. I actually still have it in my collection. And maybe I can do a full in-depth review of my collection. I think I've done many of those on YouTube, which I'm now trying to avoid. And I'm on Rumble now. So if you wanna, if you're on Rumble and you wanna see a full in-depth review of my collection, let me know. I'll give you what you want. And some other very common coins that I found are from a Britain and the European Union. Gotta switch my position in here because it's getting a little uncomfortable. I have this is a one euro cent from the EU. I can show you this. What's a one euro cent? You can barely see it because it's so damn small. There it is, one euro cent. A little bit bigger is two euro cent. And these coins are worth exactly what you would think. This is one euro cent. It's one cent, one euro cent. This is the euro, two euro cent coin. It's two euro cents. It's got the same picture of the moon on there. Another one, another one year old cent. One, one. Get the twos. And I have quite a few, quite a few of these, which are five euro cent. The European nickel. It's got the five euro set and the same design on there. And moving slightly, moving a couple of miles from Europe, we got Great Britain, United Kingdom. This is a British penny. One penny. And I've actually found. British pennies before, and Cornwall hunters that I follow have found British pennies Cornwall hunting before. It is possible to find them in circulation. Those are the European Union, Britain, and Mexican cents. Now I have to do a little more digging and show you coins uh, from uh, places that aren't too common to find coins. Because finding coins from here, from the European Union, Great Britain, Mexico, they're going to be common around here. Coins from Croatia, not so much. But what about coins from the Bahamas? I have a Bahama penny right here. The Bahama penny has a starfish on it. Ah, oh, fudge, just dropped it. Oh, here it is. Bahama Penny. So damn small, I can't focus it. There it is. A 
And it's got a starfish on it. You can look up what a uh, Bahama penny looks like. Now I gotta focus on the coins that I can't necessarily read and do a little more research on them. The next large coin I found was from the Republic de Costa Rica. Republic de Costa Rica. This coin is a 100 Colonus, I think that's what that says. Get out of there. Hundred Colonus. This hundred Colonus coin from Costa Rica. I did a conversion. It's about nineteen cents, so it's less than a quarter, but it's still pretty cool to have. The next coin I have is from Bhutan. It is a ten lipa. Don't know if you saw that, but the ten lipa coin is still being used in Bhutan right now, and it's equivalent to seven cents. The most interesting coin I have for you is this 10 cent coin here from the Bahamas. It's uh, on the back here. It looks, you can see how it looks, it's not circular. Even out of focus you can tell it's not circular. You can tell it's not circular. It's definitely like a, I'm not sure what to call the shape. But this is a 1975 Commonwealth of the Bahamas uh, 10 cent coin. And they go for only a few cents themselves. It's, it's definitely it's, uh, one of the older coins actually I've, uh, I have here. Maybe my next coin could be a little older. I think I have a couple of... I think I had a Bahamas Penny in here that I put in. And uh, a Bahamas Penny has a starfish on it. Let's, put in, let's see. There's one I know I can read. I think... Oh yeah, Jamaica. This coin here is one I can actually read. It says 2018, and 2018, five dollars, and on the front of it is from Jamaica. This is the last coin I can read, yeah, because it's in English. Some of these other coins I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging on. That's what I was doing. I went down to get my microscope and I got distracted for a couple hours because I'm watching these police uh, body cam footage videos with my dad and they can be hilarious. Now we're gonna go grab my microscope again so I can see if I can find any distinct characteristics on some of these coins and give you more information. This right here is a Turkish lira. It is a 2015 Turkish Lira coin. And there's not really much information I can give you on this, but I can tell you that one Turkish Lira right now is about 52 cents. They're still using them in Turkey right now, and it's about 52 cents for one Turkish Lira, which I think that's the dollar coin. Up the, oh, that's this coin that just decided to uh, Invade my space here. It roll off my bed. I think it's Russian. I can turn my microscope on. Let's see Federation Republica Yugoslavia. Find a Yugoslavian coin here. And it's 
1953 Yugoslavia. I gotta see what that's worth. Doing a quick bit of research on my Yugoslavian coin here. It's worth about 54 cents in the nicest condition possible. So it isn't worth all that much, but it's still a cool coin to have. Even if it's worth only face, and it's in your collection, it's a good collection. Here, hey, here's this coin. It says one, it's a $1 coin from Hong Kong. It's a Hong Kong $1 coin. And I assume it's worth $1. I have another Hong Kong $1 coin here. And uh, since I've showed you them, I've, maybe I should do my research before getting some of these coins up, which is what I've been doing. But I guess I want to be a little ahead of the game. But hold on, I'll do a little research on them. Hi, everyone. Uh, future Triple C here. I'm currently editing this video, and I totally forgot my microphone on the second half. The audio is going to sound like total garbage, but I'm going to do the best I can to uh, make it sound decent. So, apologies in advance. Continue forward. Alright, I may look different from uh, last uh, recording, but this is day two of this. And I did something today, so it's 8 o'clock at night, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. This coin here... I can get these damn things to focus again, which... I think what helped me get these coins to focus was this. One burr. That's kind of one way to make it focus. You can't see it. You can kind of see it that way. There's a line on the front of it. I'm not sure which is the obverse, which is the reverse, but that one burr coin is from Ethiopia. And it's about 19 cents in uh, United States currency. Next coin I have up here, this. It's in kind of rough shape. But it's a 100 peso coin from Colombia from 1993. They made this from 1992 to 2012, and in 1993, over 180.5 million were minted. And at the lowest point, they go for a nickel. At the highest, it could go for up to 54 cents. Here, I have a first year 10 liar. From Italy. This is a 1951 R. What if R stands for Rome? Being that's where the uh, the mints, uh, the Italian mint could be. But looking up this 1951 R, they made this from 1951 to 2001 for 50 years, I think that is, and there were 96.6 million of those minted. And that one isn't in too good a shape, it's probably about 10 or 11 cents. But it could go for as much as $3.60, which is pretty dang cool. I have a shiny brand new coin here. It's practically brand new. But, it's not totally brand new, it's three years old at this point, but it might as well be brand spanking new. There's a dude on the front of it. You can kind of see it. I can kind of see it on camera. There's a dude on the front of it. This is a one dollar coin from 2020 from Jamaica, and they're still using these in Jamaica, and they are worth one dollar. Here I have. A Jamaican coin. It's a Jamaican nickel. No, not Jamaican, a Filipino. It's a Philippines nickel. 
These nickels were made from 2017 to 2019, and there were millions and millions emitted, but I didn't get a year on it. I couldn't find a year. What I'm basically doing is going under my microscope and seeing if I can find anything I can type into Google, and uh, going from there. The only coins I have left are the ones that I don't necessarily can't read. But, if there's a will, there's a way. I'll find a way to uh, figure out what these coins are. This coin here is kind of faded on the front and the back a little bit. Especially looking at it through it under the microscope. It's all faded and you can still kind of see it. It's not going to focus. But it's one Indian rupee. And it's made of stainless steel, believe it or not. And they made them from 2013 or 14 to 2019, from what I saw. And uh, they're still quite common. They're only worth a few cents per, uh, per coin. The last two coins I have here is another Indian coin. I think it's another rupee. It's another one rupee coin from 2015. And this last coin I have here I can't read a thing off of it. I'm going to have to do a little more research. The last coin I have for you, ironically, is the most controversial on the list because it's been in the news recently. This is 10 rubles from Russia. Actually, on this one, like, I, you know, forget the camera, I'll just post a picture of it on top of my voice. It's 10 rubles from Russia. It's only worth a couple of cents. But, uh, that's all the world coins that I have. This video was a long run, I know, but I had a lot to cover. And if you want to see more of any of these coins, timestamp it, put it down below. And uh, maybe I'll do a little more research. We'll have to see. With that being said, I am the Conservative Coin Collector, and I am signing off. Bye-bye.